Hey, everybody. Look who's here. Why are you laughing? <laughs> you really want me to tell everybody why I'm laughing? No, no, no. Just I make your cake. All right. What are we making? Fondant. Yeah, what are we making out of fondant? I don't know, Crumbos. What did you decide to make today? We're making a special cake for Miss Honey Eyes. Oh, is that she me? Have a <laughs> uh, no. <laughs> Mine are bedroom eyes. Really? That's what my Aunt Millie used to tell me when I was a little girl. Stephanie, you have bedroom eyes. And you probably had no idea what she meant. No, I didn't. Yeah, I know. Yeah. It's funny when, when we're real, real little and people, adults say things and you're like, yeah. and then like 10 years later, all of a sudden it's like, oh my God, I knew what she meant. Yeah. That happens to me before too. Yeah. Okay. Um, so Honey Eyes. Honey Eyes. Miss Honey Eyes. I can't remember if she was on my blog, if she was on Facebook, if she was on YouTube. But chances are it was YouTube with a name like Miss Honey Eyes because everybody has those weird screen names on there. Yeah. Like okay. <laughs> All right. So uh, today we're making a special little fondant cake. It's going to be a ladybug. It's going to be real cute. Miss Honey Eyes had a request. She said her daughter's birthday's coming up and she really wanted to see how to make a ladybug cake. So I said, all right, that's pretty easy for a crumb boss to do. I've done these before, and so why not? All right, the lengthiest part of this whole thing is rolling out the fondant, as you can see. It's not as fun as it looks, everybody. No, you have to roll it. First, you have to mix it. Yeah, check out that video. It's a little two-minute clip of Steph, the producer, helping me out prepping this video. Mm -hmm. So she was kneading the red into the fondant, and yeah. it just really takes a lot out of your forearms it and does. your hands. It's not like Play-Doh. No. And it's not like clay. It's just real Well, tough. it kind of is, but it's, it's such a large amount that that's yeah. what is hard about it. It's not like you're doing little tiny pieces. Yep. So, okay. I'm rolling out my red fondant to make the ladybug. I have already um, made, uh, where's my bowl? Oh, I was going to show them the bowl. I baked a cake in a bowl again to get this round dome shape. Yeah. Um, rather than doing layers and carving it out, I like to get the shape right off the bat by baking my cake batter in a metal bowl. So how, remember beach ball cake? Yes. Remember the huge beach ball cake we made in the that summer? That was amazing. That was baked in a bowl so I could get that dome shape. So okay. I went ahead and did that again for Ladybug. Okay, you got a dome shape yep. right over here. So I just want to make sure, you know, the thing about rolling out fondant is that you want to make sure. This is the. Yeah. This you want to make sure that what you're rolling out is going to be enough to drape over your cake and have a little excess. That looks like enough, Gretchen. Yeah? All yeah. right. All right. I Watch. always like to be sure, because once you put it on the cake, you can't go back. Why? Because it's stuck to the buttercream, and it's a mess. Well, let's see so, what happens. Yeah, all right, that's enough. You got it. Yeah, you got it, see? All right, yep, it looks like enough. Yep. I'm all right, so there you now. go. That's this is, cool. So you're making a real-life ladybug cake. Yeah. I crumb-coated it with buttercream. Okay. Man, my bowl is starting to look square. Yeah. No, it looks bully in here. I mean, around. <laughs> it looks bully. Hey, bully. <laughs> bully, bully. All right, so there you have that. That's covering the cake with fondant. Mm -hmm. I have a little pastry wheel that I use, and I cut off the excess. Okay. Like that. Can you show us how to make fondant? No. I don't make my own fondant, I buy it. Exactly. I buy it. Satin Ice is the best brand going. All right, and I put it onto my gold board. Okay. And I did go ahead of time and make some of the decorations that I'm going to use for this cake. Um, for example, the ladybug's face. Oh, you're making a giant ladybug. Yeah. Oh, I thought you were making like a small lady. Oh, the whole cake's a ladybug. Yeah, that's right. Oh, cool. Um, I use a little bit of corn starch, uh, corn syrup. Okay. Okay, that I kind of paint on there. It's what helps make it stick on. Ladybugs okay. usually have that line down the middle. Yeah. Because that's where their wings spread apart, right? Yeah. So I've cut out some black circles for his little um, dog. What's his name? Uh, I don't know. Let's name him. Are ladybugs boys and girls? Well, you know, it's funny. There was a kid's movie out that there was a ladybug in it. Mm. And but it was a boy, uh -huh. and he was like, I, I can't remember what he said, but it was kind of cute and funny. Like, why do you have to imply that it's a lady just because it's called a ladybug? Yeah, you know. So he's kind of. It was a cute movie. That's cute. But so, what do you want to name the ladybug? Leo. Leo. Leo the ladybug. Leo the ladybug. All right. Um, I don't I, like the name Leo. All right. Well, then name it. Okay, I'm gonna name it. Um, I don't know. Let me see it take its shape. Okay. Let me see it take its form. I want to do too. I want to cut a little bit of a smile 
right here. That's a giant lady. Yeah. Imagine if this thing landed on you. You know the amount of <laughs> luck you would have? Yeah. I love ladybugs. Yeah, they're adorable. Alright, let's see if I could do this upside down. Mm -hmm. Take this. I have my little tools. My special tools came out of the box for this today. Just a little mouth. Put a little pink in there for his tongue. <laughs> right here I have um my scissor. Right here I have some flower wire. You could get this at any craft store. Yeah. Um, even Walmart sells it now. Mm -hmm. So I'm just going to cut off two little pieces of that. Because I'm going to stick that in his head for Great. his antennas. Oh, that's cute. Okay. And then, as you saw, I did a little pink for his uh, tongue. Yeah. I'm going to do the same thing with some buttercream here. Just oh, for the top cute. of his little antenna. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, what else did I do? I made some eyes ahead of time, but I made double because I want to show you how I did the eyes. Okay. Oh, look how cute it it's is. It's coming to life, right? Oh, I like it with the one eye. It looks hysterical. <laughs> so with the Cyclops ladybug. <laughs> oh, look how cute. So I wanted to show you how I made the eyes. I cut out two circles, and I use all my pastry tips for all different size circles. See that? L little, medium, large, mm -hmm. larger, like that. I just yeah. twir twirl them around. So then I took the black with the littlest one and basically I just pressed it on top of the white. Oops, see, but they're drying out now, but you get the yeah, idea. You can't see it on here. Okay, see? That's and I cool. just pressed it into the white. Right, so that's how you make eyeballs. Yeah, that's how you make the eyeballs. Okay. I also, you know, my gloves are so bulky that sometimes, everybody, you got to really just get in there. Yeah, you just got to use your hands. Yep. What's that? Uh, it's kind of like a cheek. Does it look stupid? No, it looks cute. It's like a little cheek. That's really cute. Oof. <laughs> Alright. Yeah. Um, what else do I got? That thing right there. Which thing? Right there. The little pastry bag. Would you yeah, use that for? I don't know. I just brought it in case I wanted to use All it. All right, so hold it up. No, nope, I'm not done yet. Oh, okay. Whoops. Ladybugs are crawling around in grass. Yep. So you got your grass chip pastry bag. Yep. Mm -hmm. We're so mellow right now. We just filmed so many videos that we're fading now. <laughs> Def the producer. No, I'm not. I just, I had spinach. <laughs> and German chocolate cake. No, I, I got a little taste of it. All right, so hold up your kit. What do you got there? I'm still not done. All right, well, come on. This baby's going to be garnished. All yeah. right. A little bit of those, little confettis for garnish, mm -hmm. and some flowers. Oh, that's cute. Isn't it pretty? Yeah. So, Miss Honey Eyes, this one's for you and your daughter. Uh -huh. I hope that you um, kind of got the gist of how I made the hold ladybug cake. Uh, hold it oh, low. Oh, look at this cute face. Hold it a little low. Yeah. Okay. Hold, no, now he's sinking forward, Gretchen. Hold him straight. <laughs> All right. You can't teach me anything. No, you're hot. You're so difficult. <laughs> it's yeah. okay. Red fondant ladybug cake made by the Crumbos. There's his little face, and then he's in the grass. And he'll now go lower so I can see the top. I'll move. Okay. okay you go. And uh, the, this is it. It's all made out of fondant. Everything is edible, and he's hanging out in the grass. And uh, this is where you get it made from, the crumb boss. Crumb boss. Lady fondant. Lady fondant. <laughs>